This is the solution video for unit two review, problem number 19. All right, so I have x squared minus nine over x plus four all cubed. All right, so the first thing that I would do um, is, well, you could do this one of two ways. You could uh, do this as the power rule, right? Or you could separate into x squared minus nine quantity cubed, right? So you could bring the power just to the numerator and then just to the denominator, all right? And that's the way that I'm going to approach it. All right, so x squared minus 9 cubed over x plus 4 cubed. All right. <clears throat> All right, and so now I'm going to use the quotient rule. All right, so dy dx then, of course, is going to be All right, so I take the denominator x plus 4 cubed times the derivative of the numerator. Okay, so we're going to use the power rule, 3 times x squared minus 9, and then squared, and then times the derivative of x squared minus 9, which would be 2x. All right, and then minus the numerator, so x squared minus 9 cubed. times the derivative of the denominator, 3 times x plus 4 squared times the derivative of x plus 4. Which is 1. All right, so now... All of that divided by the denominator squared. So x plus 4 cubed, and then that thing squared, right? All right, so now this is the derivative. All we need to do is simplify, though. All right, so if we simplify, all right, notice I have an x plus 4 cubed and an x plus 4 squared. So if I factor out an x plus 4 squared, all right, then I have an x, my, x squared minus 9 squared and an x squared minus 9 cubed, so I can factor out an x squared minus 9 squared, right? So now I have x plus 4 squared, x squared minus 9 squared. All right, and then what do I have remaining? Well, remaining, I have an x plus 4 to the first, and then I have a 3 times a 2 times an x, so I have a 6 x times an x plus 4, right? Um, and then I have minus, what do I have left here? I have a 3 and an x squared minus 9. All right, and then all of that over x plus 4, and that would be to the 6th, right? So x plus 4 to the 6th. All right, so now that means I can reduce the x plus 4 squared with two of those x plus 4s. All right, and so that's going to leave me with an x plus 4 to the 4th. All right, and then I have an x, that's an x squared, right, minus 9 squared. And then times, if I distribute here, I get 6x squared plus 24x minus 3x squared. And then I get a plus 27, right? All right, and so that means I have 6x squared minus 3x squared, so I have 3x squared plus 24x uh, plus 27, right? And then all over x plus 4 to the fourth, right? And that would be my simplified version.